hello everyone now let's see how actually we can read a json and the parquet file so previous video we have seen like how to read a csv file and how to create a data frame now we are going to see how to read a json or if you have any parquet file then how actually you can read and how actually you can create a, a data frame so this we are going to see so what i will do first i will upload a file also first let me give the heading so json and the parquet this i will write here and let me execute you can see json and format now left side you can see you have to click here this is a catalog right so we have created a development catalog uh, we have a data uh, this is a database this is the volume we have as of now what we have done we have only we only have a csv file now suppose you want to add a more file here so click here upload to volume now we are going to upload a uh, file first we will upload a json file let me show you so this is the json file we have orders.json file click on the upload what will happen now the json file will be uploaded if you will see here in the data in the file in order you can see order.json file got uploaded now if you have to read this uh, what you have to write df equal to the let me zoom it uh, df equal to the spark dot read dot json spark dot read dot json and in a double quote you can pass the location so how actually you will get the location this is the file right so if you click here right automatically this one will come now if you have to read this data frame what you have to write display and df display df and let, let me execute this let's see it's working or not our cluster is starting you can see it is executed but it got failed and what actually it is saying like the queries from the raw json csv files are disallowed when the reference column only include the internal corrupt record column so this kind of the issue generally comes whenever we read a json file if i'll show you my json file this is what i have a json file now you can see here it contains the multiple line of the json data right so if you have a this kind of the json file multiple records are there then what you have to write is part dot read dot json whatever the path you have to pass and after that comma and you have to also pass the multi line equal to true multi line equal multi line equal to the true true this is what we have to pass now let me execute and let's see whether we are able to read or not we have written is part dot read dot json path and multi line equal to true and we have written uh, display df now you can see i am able to read my data delivery date order date these are the things right i am able to read it properly now this is a one option now suppose you want to create a data frame by using another method so that is a is part dot read dot format which we have understand right what you have to write is part dot read dot format and here you have to mention json you can use any of the method dot option is part dot read dot format json dot option and here you can pass multi line multi uh, multi line multi line true and uh, dot load and this particular location so what we have to write is part dot read dot format json dot option multi line comma true dot load and the particular location where our file is available now if i will try to display display df and let me execute this what will happen and this will start executing now you can see like this also we can create a data frame is part dot read dot format json option multi line true dot load this will also work in the similar way means we have a two option either you can use spart dot read dot json or you can write spart dot read dot format now this is how actually we can read the json file now let's see how actually we can read the parquet file if you have a parquet file then how actually we can do first let me upload the file so in a data in a files as of now we have a csv and the json right let me uh, upload one more file that is a parquet file i'll browse it and this is the orders dot parquet file. Click on the upload. And now our files will be uploaded. If I'll show you in a in a development, this is a catalog data files volume order order the parquet is there. Now if you have to create a data frame, what you have to write df equal to the spark dot read dot parquet. 
and the particular location what is the location this is the location right this is the location we have to pass and we will say display df display df let me execute let's see whether we are able to read or not so you can see is part the read or park a particular location if you will pass you will be able to read so this is very simple right so like this actually we can read the csv json park a and if you have any other format also then that particular format you have to mention and you can uh, read that also i hope you got the idea how to create a data frame